If it's endurable, then endure it. Stop complaining. No matter what anyone says or does, my task is to be good. No carelessness in my actions, no confusion in my words, no imprecision in my thoughts. Realize that you have something in you more powerful and miraculous than the things that affect you and make you dance like a puppet. Someone despises me, that's their problem. Limit yourself to the present. The object of life is not to be on the side of the majority, but to escape finding oneself in the ranks of the insane. Do not let others hold you back. Not to assume it's impossible, because you find it hard, but to recognize that if it's humanly possible, you can do it too. Not to be driven this way, and that but always, to behave with justice and see things as they are. Be tolerant with others and strict with yourself. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Receive without pride, let go without attachment. Never esteem anything as of advantage to you that will make you break your word or lose your self-respect. The first rule is to keep an untroubled spirit. The second is to look things in the face and know them for what they are. Think of yourself as dead. You have lived your life. Now take what's left and live it properly. Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be be one. Stop allowing your mind to be a slave, to be jerked about by selfish impulses to kick against fate and the present, and to mistrust the future. Everything is born from change. Get busy with life's purpose, toss aside empty hopes, and get active in your own rescue. The struggle is great, the task divinto gain mastery, freedom, happiness and tranquility. Think of yourself as dead, you have lived your life, now take what's left and live it properly. Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be be one. Learn to be indifferent to what makes no difference. It's courtesy and kindness that define me. Today I escaped anxiety. Or no, I discarded it because it was within me, in my own perceptions, not outside. There is nowhere that a person can find a more peaceful and trouble-free retreat than in his own mind. So constantly give yourself this retreat and renew yourself. True good fortune is what you make for yourself. Good fortune, good character, good intentions and good actions. Anywhere I can lead your life, I can lead a good one. Your days are numbered. Use them to throw open the windows of your soul to the sun. If you do not, the sun will soon set, and you with it. Ask yourself at every moment, is this necessary? If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it, and this you have the power to revoke at any moment. If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. Be like the cliff against, which the waves continually break, but it stands firm and tames the fury of the water around it. Never remind people about yourself because those who value you remember, and the rest doesn't matter. Because a thing seems difficult for you. Do not think it impossible for anyone to accomplish the things you think about determine the quality of your mind. Your soul takes on the color of your thoughts. Do not indulge in dreams of having what you have not but reckon up the chief of the blessings you do possess and then thankfully remember how you would crave for them if they were not yours. The best revenge is not to be like your enemy. When you arise in the morning, 
Think of what a privilege it is to be alive, to think, to enjoy, to love. Here is a rule to remember. In the future when anything tempts you to feel bitter, not this is. Misfortune, but to bear this worthily, is good fortune. But do not act as if you were going to live 10,000 years. Death hangs over you. While you live, while it is in your power, be good. Choose not to be harmed, and you won't feel harmed, and you don't feel harmed dash, haven't been.